Hey guys, Baybye to you here. Um, yeah, sorry, low sound quality again. I know, but basically the reason why I um started this episode or the reason why I'm doing this episode is because I've done so much. For starters, I've made a door. Like, you know what I mean? Just like a door. You can walk through it and you can run through it, and it opens on both sides. Took me forever. Um, I'll just quickly kind of, well, I'll briefly show you the redstone. Once I have lowered the thing to tiny. All right, so, hmm, where to begin? Uh, I, I haven't been able to cover all of it. Oh yeah, and I added this little ring around the tree just because I felt like it. Um, but basically, so you can step on either one of these pressure plates, and well, you know, it'll work. So it brings it over here, and the blocks right here will block it off from messing with this. Which, actually, if I were to go over it right now, it would do nothing to this. Anyways, so it comes over here, and this is a, um, oh, uh, what's it called? A uh, pulse extender. So this comes up, and then there's a redstone torch above there. There's like two or three, actually. And then... So I was like, what? Where's the fog coming from? Um, oh yeah, and then just down here it just kind of connects to, oh, oh actually I don't know if that's important or not, hold on, yeah that is, okay, I'm just going to make it so that we can go around anytime, never mind, I was like wait what, oh gosh, alright, anyway so again the block above this one, is there anyway so it comes up right there ah, excuse me so then it does that and it actually I don't know why I did it like that why did I do it like that that was weird all right anyway sorry um because it's gonna oh I guess it doesn't really matter it just actually either way it works so anyway sorry I'm kind of getting tongue-tied um this extends it a little bit more, and then this also comes through over here, and then that blocks there, so then it hits that, and then if we come up to right here, it um, powers that, and powers that, and we get out of here like this. So then, um, come over here. And that powers over to here, and it powers this, and then it comes around and powers this, and both of the ones that push these two down. I don't know why I did it like that, but whatever. Anyways, and then this one's just kind of the same thing. It just comes around and does that one, and the one below here, and that's it. Now all I have to do is think of a design. So yeah. Um, I will do a more in-depth or whatever, um, tutorial on how, on how to do it, and I broke something. What did I break? Oh, I just forgot to do that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, here, let me check really fast what time we're at. Alright, we're at about four minutes, so that means that we have about, uh, sorry, I'm failing, six minutes, so then... That would be at 18. And yeah, you can easily just walk through it. Anyways, yeah, the clock's right there. I had that up a while ago. I just didn't point it out, I think. So yeah, this just comes around right here. I finally found carrots. Oh yeah, and potatoes. Forgot about that. Yes, yeah, so I found potatoes and... Oh, finally this grew. Yeah, the potatoes grow really slowly sometimes for some reason. This is a little mob trap kind of thing that's just for whatever reason I did it. Carrots, potatoes, and that. I found chickens and I put them in here and then one of them would not get out of this corner so then I put that down and then I he wouldn't get out so then I punched him and he died and I was like whatever. So, you know. Anyways, over here we have, in my opinion, a faster version of this. And it catches most of it. Let's see. Um, there, that's not an important one. It catches most of it and puts it in here. And I don't know why there's cobblestone in there. 
Anyways, but yeah, so it puts a ton of that in there. I don't know why I have so much, but I just, I do. Anyway, so if we come down here, there is, um, a snowball behind there. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, this redstone was a little bit harder for me to figure out, and yet it was the easier one. Um, and it shouldn't have been that hard. Anyways, so what happens is there's actually two ways to do this, actually. So first I should explain that this makes it, well, okay, so this connects to that one, to that one, to that one, to that one, all the way around this, okay? So then, um, that is a dropper, and there's a dropper below it, and that leads into the dropper, and then the dropper just puts it in here. This makes it put it in here, so like, if I were to drop that in there... Alright, that should be good. Yeah, so it puts it in. And then the way it works, oh, and also you can have it automatically going, but you can just be standing on there also. Like, if you got a ton of um, snowballs that you want to have put in there, then, you know, just, you can just do it, you know. Anyways, you can just have it automatically going. So, the lever's right there, and it wraps around, um, I'm not sure why this is, oh yeah, this is just, um, over here is where the, okay. So basically, oh man, sorry, I'm trying to get through this, alright. So, this comes over to here, this thing, this is, um, a little bit weird of a version of it, but this is Etho's, um, little clock thing. So, like, here. This is one good purpose for the leaving it on. Oh, I also found pumpkins, but I'll explain that later. Okay, so this turns on, and it's just this thing. Okay, and then it also, yeah, we're supposed to break this, huh? Do I have an axe? No, I don't. Okay, um, so if we come through here, Right above there, right there, that is where the um, pressure plate is. Oh, sorry, I should turn that off. I don't know why there's this guy in here. That was weird. Oh, there must have been somewhere where he could spawn. Anyways, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so that's where the pressure plate is. And then that, oh yeah, that leads around to right there, which turns that off, which then comes through here, and then there is something that I think it turns off, does it? Yeah, it turns off. Alright, so it turns that off, and this is just from the um, lever. So we can turn that off we can get to it yeah we can put it like that all right so yeah this is off and then yeah it comes around just the same way does the exact same thing and this is on subtraction mode and it wouldn't work without this like this wouldn't extend because it needs a actually no never mind oh, well. anyway so yeah that's that contraption of redstone um here, let me just quickly see if I can get rid of all chances of mobs to s that want to spawn in here really fast. That actually probably did it, but just in case, I'm going to put one right there. Alright. So yeah, again, I still need to... I can probably make a better version of this right here. But anyways, um, I still need to figure out a basic design for this. Did I? Yes, I broke the stair. Alright, but yeah, I will get on that. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, I will get right on trying to figure out a basic theme. Yeah, pumpkins are growing. For my, for my version of the man cave. So, yeah. Um, one last, oh, wait, is it time to stop? Please don't tell me I've gone over. Okay, I have it. Alright, um, one last thing I want to show you, but I don't think there's time. Anyways, this actually isn't too complicated, but yeah. Alright, so it that pressure plate turns on, it comes down here. Um, this, is, this makes it so that when I step on the pressure plate, it'll um, stop after a few seconds. It's a pulse extender, 
and then every other one of these goes under, whoops, um, to a piston, and the piston just pushes it up. The pistons, sorry, the pistons just put it, push it up. So, yeah. That's what it does. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that was a very brief update. Oh, I should also sh yeah, I should also show you my um chest items so that you can see them, all right? Bit of iron, a bit more gold, a bunch more lapis, a ton of quartz, a ton of diamond, a ton of em well, barely any emerald. And unfortunately, I still have not found a nether stronghold or fortress. So yeah, this has been another episode of Etho vs. Baybuy to you or whatever. Um, I'll try to see if I can get a mic that's better. Peace out, guys.